Three people are dead after a house fire in Seymour. It happened this morning. The Blunt County Fire Department is looking into what caused that fire to spread so quickly. 10 News reporter Caitlin Keenahan spoke with neighbors who can't believe it happened in their backyard. At 715, Kanji Magigirl didn't wake up to her alarm. Instead, she woke up to the sound of sirens. I woke up to hearing sirens and then sound like a big truck, maybe a fire truck or something. Just five minutes after getting the call, the Blunt County Fire Department arrived at the corner house of Alfred McCammon. I saw smoke coming out of the house, two houses down from us. There they saw a home engulfed in flames. I heard crashing windows breaking and smoke coming out, and then I knew it was a house fire. 14 firefighters and eight fire trucks extinguished the blaze. There was so many vehicles. It was unreal. I, it had to have been something horrific happening. Another neighbor who didn't wish to speak on camera said he was also shocked by the number of responders. But what these neighbors couldn't see was the fire department searching for three people trapped inside. It was scary, very scary, very sad. I felt a sadness come over not knowing what was going on too. Crews took those victims to the hospital where they died. Authorities have not released the names of those individuals nor the cause of the fire. In Seymour, I'm Caitlin Keenahan. According to the Blount County Sheriff's Office, the crew arrived at the house within five minutes of getting the call. They say that goes to show just how fast this fire spread through that home.